Here we have a really old book on differential geometry. This is the one by Grostein. This is a really old book. You can see the previous owner there. I was really working hard uh, through this. Notice how straight the lines are. They must have used a ruler right, to underline things. I mean, look at that. Right, very, very uh, straight lines and comments. Yeah. Yeah, really interesting. And let me show you the topics. This is a table of contents. So it's basically a book on differential geometry. It covers a lot of information. You can learn a lot of math. If you sit down um, with a paper and a pencil and you work through this, uh, you will learn a lot. Right? You will learn a lot of math. As you see, the previous owner uh, underlined a bunch of stuff. That's exactly what they were trying to do. So. I've read portions of this book and I thought it was pretty cool. Right? A lot of information. That's interesting. This is interesting. We can still see underlining in the latter chapters of the book. A lot of times uh, in math books, you'll find that there's more writing at the beginning of the book. That's because people, um, the way people work when it comes to stuff like this is they'll start off really motivated and they'll lose motivation <laughs> as they get further into the book. But apparently the person who owned this kept up their motivation. I mean, this is page 97. We're about halfway through the book here or so. So um, they had a lot of willpower. They kept going. And, you know, we don't know how much was covered in their course. If it was used for a course. We don't know the history of this book. But, yeah, really cool. Really cool book on differential geometry. Again, it's the one by Grostein. Grostein. Take care.